It took me 15 years before one day I tapped a piece of wood and I knew with every molecule in my body, I knew with every part of my being what I wanted to do with that piece of wood. The very first piece is that you have to have a passion for it. I think if you're going to be a quality anything, whether it's a quality photographer, a quality artist, a quality teacher, I, th there needs to be a passion. I started uh, hanging out with the guitar makers. That's how it really started. I bought an old Spanish guitar that I was sort of working on a bit, and they kind of saw that I had some skills, and yeah, that's, it just grew out of that, you know. There are a lot of musicians that have realized, have realized that the Martins and the Gibsons are factory-made guitars. They don't actually even come close to a handmade guitar. The, the, the quality of the timbers, the each piece glued on painstakingly for sound, for tone, doesn't happen in a factory environment. Martins and Gibsons are factory-made instruments. I don't sell in South Africa. I am very proud to be a South African. I must say that in my country, the sad thing is I'm not recognized here. Our country has no idea of the talent that we have here. If you're not playing rugby or cricket or something, forget about it. We have fabulous artists here, but our country is so befocked with sports that um, they just can't see the wood for the trees. In this country, I can't even get an article into the Sunday Times when people like Earl Klug and Jimmy Ludlow come and play at the Standard Bank Jazz Festival, both playing my guitars, and I can't even get a, a mention of that in the newspaper. And when you feel for the wood, like you see me in the studio tapping and touching every piece, I know guys that don't do that. Okay, now we're going to alter that. They work with clock gauges and spring gauges and they measure each piece and they weigh each piece. They don't have that tactile feel. I'm an alchemist, if nothing else. That's what I do. I use pieces of wood, I glue them together in an alchemical process and I finally come up with a sound that is consistent enough that people can play 10 of my guitars and they go, that's a main guard sound. Taking a magical tree and it's been cut down, it's been killed, but it lives. The wood still lives, the, the pores of the wood are still, are still shifting and drying and changing. And it's almost like the tree has a chance to sing again, it's almost like the wind is blowing through the branches again.